Do you often experience sweating palms, even in cool temperatures? Do you sometimes dread going out because you're afraid your palms are just going to start sweating excessively, you know, in the middle of uh, the most awkward social situation? This problem, it can cause low self-esteem, and some people are afraid to even go on dates because, you know, you may experience sweating palms when your date tries to hold your hand or, you know, you get the picture. The good news is there are ways to treat this problem. Actually, it's estimated that anywhere from 1 to 3% of the adult population has an excessive sweating problem. And if the problem is in the hands, in the medical community, it's referred to as Palmer hyperhidrosis. For some individuals, the condition, it does go away on its own. But for others, treatment is required. Now, the type of treatment you receive depends on the cause of the issue and the severity. Some people undergo Botox injections or even surgery. Fortunately, there are some natural remedies you can try if you want to avoid those options. So the first is rub talcum powder or cornstarch between your palms. And both of these soak up moisture pretty well. You don't have to use a lot. Just rub a small amount between your hands right before you go anywhere. You can use an unscented antiperspirant on your hands also. Some antiperspirants, they're, they're made just for hands and feet. I recommend you try Certain Dry. It's a great roll-on antiperspirant. Uh, you want to avoid the scented kind as it has chemicals that can actually trigger sweat. Um, using a hand moisturizer or lotion with aluminum chloride will help a lot. And what I mean by that is using a, a hand sanitizer or excuse me, a hand moisturizer in conjunction with a deodorant that's high in aluminum chloride. So you'll use certain dry in your palms and then later you'll also use um, like a, a lotion or a hand uh, hand lotion like witch hazel. Witch hazel is a natural astringent. It works really well. Uh, sometimes, you know, sweating palms are triggered by anxiety or sweat or stress. You know, do whatever you can to make yourself feel calm and focused. Learn some relaxation and breathing techniques and use them whenever you feel anxiety coming on. You should definitely learn about a treatment called iontophoresis. Now, I get emails all the time from hand sweating sufferers that swear by this solution. Iontophoresis is a device with uh, electric currents that run through um, plates um, which are filled with water and you submerge your hands in, in the water and the electric current um, kind of passes through your hands. It's very gentle electric current. It's not going to hurt. Uh, but what this actually does is it thickens the skin on a molecular level and um, inhibits sweating. So uh, it works really, really, really well. Uh, and also, by the way, I realize I misspelled iontophoresis in this slide. It's actually I-O-N-T-O-P-H-O-R-E-S-I-S. -S. So uh, <laughs> take note of that. Um, also, wash your hands several times a day. You want to use an antibacterial soap. You know what works really well? A lot of times I'll carry around a mini travel size hand sanitizer with me. If I know I'm going to have to shake someone's hand, I'll just really, like a minute before, I'll just uh, rub the hand sanitizer on my hands and the alcohol is going to dry out my hands. It's a really good temporary fix for a hand shaking situation. You want to stay away from spicy foods. Spicy foods contain caps, uh, capsaicin, which uh, is going to trigger the nerve endings, increasing body temperature, and when body temperature increased, you'll sweat more. Stay away from junk food uh, or packaged food. Not only are they unhealthy, they're going to cause you to sweat more. And that's because your body has to work extra hard to break down all the processed, you know, garbage <laughs> in uh, a lot of junk foods. Try herbal remedies. Valerian root, chamomile, tea tree oil, or St. John's wort work wonderfully to prevent uh, and decrease excessive hand sweating. And these can be taken orally or applied onto the palms directly. Uh, one of the best herbal remedies for sweating palms is sage. Um, you can take sage supplements or tablets. You can pick them up at most uh, health food stores. Um, I recommend you drink sage tea. It's a great systemic uh, natural remedy to decrease sweating. And in addition to sage, uh, you can also drink apple cider vinegar or even tomato juice. Uh, these drinks are believed to relieve sweating palm symptoms and help out a lot. And you know, these 10 tips, they might not cure your hyperhidrosis one at a time, but when you start stacking them on top of each other, they really can add up to great results. So it all depends on your underlying causes. Give them all a shot. Remember, taking action, that's really the key here. And um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, I've, I've made, you know, sweat-stopping solutions incredibly easy to learn at my website, www.prevent-sweating.com. On the site, I posted a free 30-minute uh, video 
with 12 awesome stop sweating strategies. The video is totally free. It's called Sweat Free Tactics. Go to the site right now, www.prevent-sweating.com. Check out this video. Implement all 12 of these powerhouse tactics right now and end your sweating right now. Take care. Bye-bye.